um, then we all have our male and our female side. So. Um, oh, careful, careful. We're not drawing that. I'm actually drawing. If we, it, it's a yin and yang symbol, right? Mm -hmm. And actually, remember that it splits in half. We'll talk more about this today. So remember that the masculine half splits off and the feminine half splits off at incarnation. But each person does have masculine and feminine qualities, of course. So that's why there's a little dot in each half, just to indicate that there's a part of the other in each as well. There's a part of the feminine in the masculine, and there's a part of the masculine in the feminine. Okay. But go on with your questions. Right? And, and, and then you did um, put up the uh, distribution curve. And you were saying that we're sort of randomly dispersed around that curve. Yeah, in terms like of... Male side and then female side. Right? In terms of the creation of the complete soul, this oh, thing, that, not oh, these. Oh, okay. You follow me? Oh, right. So there are, the complete soul also has a dominant characteristics in sexuality, what we would call sexuality. So it can be dominantly masculine or dominantly feminine or more sort of evenly distributed. Mm -hmm. All right? the one, those that are dominantly masculine will split into two masculine in entities in the connection. But they still have female side in them. It, exactly. There's still female qualities in them. Good. Yeah. Okay. So like in a gay male couple, for example, a gay soulmate couple, uh -huh. um, the Apostle John is an example of that. He, he, him and his soulmate are gay, a couple, from our perspective here on Earth. And um, when, when they separated and incarnated, they incarnated into two male, uh, each a male form. Mm -hmm. John's side of the male form was heavily masculine, mm -hmm. and his, his um, opposite half, if you like, his soulmate, was, was a little more feminine than he. Okay. Mm. All right. And that balances. Is that supposed to balance it out? Um, yeah. The way I see it is that each soul is an individual within itself. So each soul has individual characteristics and, and specific attributes <coughs> that no other person, no other soul, no other complete soul in the universe has. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about balance, what do we define as balance mm -hmm. in the end? Yeah. Right? Really what we're talking about is each soul has its unique, its unique individualization. And, and within itself, the split of that soul is just totally determined by how God created that. And so, like this talk about balance, like being balanced here and balanced there, to me it's sort of more of an intellectual discussion then, rather than, mm -hmm. rather than an emotional discussion. Mm -hmm. When you connect with yourself fully emotionally, you're not worried about balance or, in fact, you don't worry about hardly anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> right? And you don't worry, of course, once you're a one with God, you don't worry about anything at all. So you're not even concerned about, am I being balanced right now or am I not being balanced right now? Yeah. That never even enters your mind. Okay. Yeah. So um, when when we become come in as a female body or a male body, that really is irrelevant. Is and it? the soul will all, the full soul will always split in the same manner. So so my half of the soul in the first century was masculine. My soulmate's half was feminine, right? Uh -huh. When we split this time, my soulmate's my soul is <laughs> my half of the soul's masculine. Like so, each time you go into a similar a similar body, in other words, a similar gendered body. So you don't swap genders. Now, many of you have been taught through New Age stuff that you were a female or a male in the past, right? Many of you have heard that? What's actually happening is you have heavy spirit influence with spirits who are with you, giving you their life experience. Right? They're, they're trying to work through their emotional issues with you. They feel attracted to you. And they try to work through their emotional issues with you by doing that. And it triggers emotions inside of you. All right? So many of you have guides with you right now who are the opposite gender to yourself. And the reason why is there's a certain aspect within yourself they feel you need to develop that you're not developing. You follow me? And so they stay with you until they work through those particular issues. Do you mind if I mention no. yourself, Grant? Like, you, ten years ago, from Grant's perspective, you were sort of dominantly masculine, not understanding the feminine so well. That would be a fairly accurate statement, would it? Yes. Yeah. And then what's ha been happening over the last 10 years for Grant is he's been having more and more relationships with women that are friendship-based relationships. And he's learning a lot about women in that, in that way, right? Learning a lot about coming to love women, not from a sexual perspective, but rather from a more complete friendship perspective, right? 
And in the process of doing that, what you've been doing is just like growing in the way that you understand femininity. Right? And so that, that's what happens a lot, is that we often also have spirits around us who are also trying to assist us to do that same thing. Right? And some of those spirits will be in a sad place still, and they will need your assistance to help them to do those things, and others will be in quite a good place and they're just giving you pictures about their life to trigger your emotion, to actually help you experience some of your emotion. 